The market intelligence tells us a number of things about, uh, about applicants. For example, I find it really interesting and valuable to, to, to see what the average GMAT scores are in the various countries. And as a result, uh, when we're making our admissions decisions, we sometimes have to adjust for that when we consider where someone is from and we look at the average GMAT scores in those particular regions. It informs our admissions decisions. It also helps inform our scholarship decisions. As a director of admissions, I really feel what GMAT provides me in terms of making my right decisions is information and data and context. It's a better understanding of what's going on in the industry. It's better access to prospective students through services like GMAS. It's a better understanding of what are some of the challenges that we as an industry are facing. It's also a better understanding of what's going on in the mind of the applicants because that allows us to target our messaging, to target our outreach efforts, and to do the best job that we can in terms of seating a class each year. Well, there are a number of uh, reports that, that I find really valuable uh, for my job, uh, including the MBA.com registrant survey, uh, geographic trends reports, and the application trend surveys. And so uh, being able to spend some time with that information um, gives me a much more informed opportunity to, to make the right decision for our own program, combined with uh, all, the, all the different facets that, that we face and the different things that we face. And sometimes we'll find similar programs out there and, and find a new friend, so to speak, uh, in the industry through these, these opportunities that we've been able to take advantage of over the last several years.